Okay, before we wrap up, tell me the hardest role you've ever had to do. What was the hardest thing? The hardest, then it can be hard for whatever reason. Oh, that's difficult to say. I, I've had somehow this, the hardest roles are small roles. Mm -hmm. Small roles. Mm -hmm. But one r role that was hard in a way, but I was was uh, most sat most satisfying was mm -hmm. something called my father's hands. Mm -hmm. Now here's the thing, Sud Sutherland, David Sutherland. Right. He'd wrote, written this thing and sent this thing to my agent some time mm -hmm. ago. Mm -hmm. Went home, came back in '98, and thing ringing on my my cell on my answering machine. Hope you're here. Hope you're here. Mm -hmm. Then they finally said, "You have to come. Mm -hmm. Call us when you get it." I was being presented with a, a black network oh. outstanding achievement award. Right. Right. So I went down to the government and then. This guy came up to me and said, I'm David Sutherland and I have this piece and uh, I'd like you to do it for me. I said, sure, anytime. He said, but we don't have it. I said, oh, that's never mind. Mm -hmm. The work is important. So mm -hmm. he sent me the piece and whatnot. It was funny, funny. Did it. But what was hard about it is being in the George Brown storage thing for <laughs> days in the freezer. Right. Oh, yeah. you're in the freezer. Yeah, okay. because part of the story is this guy came. I'm, I have a... a a store, a West Indian store, mm -hmm. and these guys came and robbed us and yes. shot me and locked freezer. us up in in the uh, in the freezer. Right, right. And the thing is that my son Mark Taylor mm -hmm. wants to be a dancer. Right. <laughs> right. Okay. I won the Golden Chief Award for that. Oh, really? Uh, yes, okay. and it won Acapulco. It beat. A lot of those American guys, some of them saw it, you know, right, it's right. Oh, one of the directors on Soul Food, he says, oh, I now I remember where you beat me on um, right. that uh, HBO. <laughs> and some of the HBO people came up interviewing me and whatnot and so on, yeah. It was hard because it was so cold, it, mm -hmm. you know, yeah. and my hands, extremities and sitting down, your, your back freezes up and so mm -hmm. on. But then again, it was not much money. I didn't right. do it for the money. Right, yeah. You know, but that's mm -hmm. that's how it is. And the last question. So, uh, you could have at some point in time gone down to the states, and there are some black actors, some very well-known black actors of West Indian heritage, like uh, Sidney Poitier, who have done very well. But you stayed here. So, why did you stay in Canada? When I split from my wife, when we split in my 1971, mm -hmm. for whatever reasons, which. <laughs> I said, you know, I'm going to stay close to my children mm -hmm. because it's important to me that they get proper guidance. Mm -hmm. One of the arrangements we had was that I had access to them every weekend mm -hmm. or whenever else I could. I maintained the car when I really didn't need one. Mm -hmm. I, I had a car once, Delroy Lindo and I were driving, a, a hit and run guy almost killed us. It's a good thing I wasn't driving fast. Otherwise, mm. you wouldn't see Delroy Lindo on screen. Hmm. <laughs> right. you know? So, uh, and all that, he was planning to go down. His mother was a nurse and whatnot and so on. Mm -hmm. And I said, no, I got to stay. I remember there was a um, couple of American directors wanted me to come. Mm -hmm. And I said, you know, I, 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 I'm surviving. I'm making a living here. I'm surviving. I'm mm -hmm. not getting wealthy or anything like that. But mm -hmm. And I stayed close to my children. I'd go to visit them, not much money, and they would say things. Today, mm -hmm. they still remember some of the things I said. Mm -hmm. My daughter worked with IBM. She called me. She, she was hired out of Canada. Oh, She's okay. a marketing manager. She runs their, their web pages and all that sort of stuff. Right, right. Uh, their functions, 10,000 people in Las Vegas and all that sort of thing. She's done right. very well. Right. My son. He was th is with the Ministry of Labor. Uh, okay. uh, he was he headed the group that worked on the last employment insurance business. You mm -hmm. remember that? Yeah. Uh -huh. and one of the things they were going to do, they're going to get an artist, and he said to the one the guy he headed, he said, "No, you can't do that, mm -hmm. because I know because my father's an, an artist. Your father, who's your father? Actors on. 
So mm -hmm. they were going to come with some draconian methods to artists. Really? But all that changed. Oh, good. He's like uh, maybe three down from being a Mandarin. Okay. Yeah. So. Okay. You're very proud. So I, I, uh, I'm, I'm proud of that. Mm -hmm. I'm proud of that. I've stayed. Mm -hmm. My grandson asked me now, what, so Grandpa, when are you going to do another commercial? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, exactly. Well, yeah. kid, get on it. <laughs> Maybe tell yeah. him to produce something. Yeah. But I, I <coughs> so in, in that sense, I don't have any regrets. Mm -hmm. I don't know what would have happened, you know. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. No, it's good. So well, I'm glad you did stay. Yeah. And uh, well, I look forward to your next commercial. I look forward <laughs> to your next theatrical uh, performance. Yeah, and yeah, yeah. And yeah. anything else you do. Yeah. And thanks a lot, Arden. Thank you, Andrew. Thank you, brother. Thank you. Thank you. It's good to see you.